Well, hello to my Sunday school friends. It is really good to see you. Uh, and the Sunday school, you know, uh, you should come to Sunday school. It's at nine o'clock at Peace and 9.30 at Nelsonville. They're talking about the life of Jesus and that is a wonderful set of stories. We're gonna keep doing the Old Testament stories on these videos so that you have a couple of different things that you can do every week uh, to learn more about God and to learn more about your place in God's kingdom. So we're just gonna keep right on rolling. When we left off here, remember, Elijah uh, has come out of hiding. He had a, a, a big fight with King Ahab, told him that it wasn't going to rain, and it didn't rain for three and a half years. That Elijah spent the first part of that time hiding by a creek, and God sent ravens with food to feed Elijah, and then Elijah went and spent time you know, with a widow at Zarephath, uh, and God provided for the widow and Elijah and the widow's son uh, during that whole time of famine. Remember that the, the jar of meal and the jar of oil never Never gave out. They just kept refilling and refilling and refilling so that they could eat. And then last week we talked about how God told Elijah, it's time. Go, go to the king. So Elijah appeared. Uh, he uh, went uh, back to Israel. He, he found uh, the king's servant, Obadiah, uh, and said, Obadiah, I'm here to talk to the king. Obadiah was nervous at first because he thought Elijah would disappear again and the king would be mad at him. Uh, but Elijah said, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, go get Ahab. So Obadiah went and got wicked old King Ahab, uh, and our story begins today with Ahab running back uh, with Obadiah to see Elijah. And Ahab started the conversation, is that you, troubler of Israel? Elijah wasn't going to handle, wasn't going to hear any of that. Elijah said, I'm not the troubler of Israel, you are. You and your fathers who've forgotten to, to, to love God, to honor God, to keep God's commandments. I'm, uh, I, I, you're the one that's filled this land with your, with your idols worship and with your false prophets and and I'm not gonna have it so here's what you're gonna do you're gonna get together all of the false prophets of, of Baal and all of the false prophets of Asherah you're gonna tell all the people uh, to meet us all at Mount Carmel and we're gonna settle this thing once and for all we're gonna figure out who's God and who isn't so Ahab thought that sounded like a good idea he sent messages throughout Israel that everyone was supposed to come and gather uh, at Mount Carmel uh, and the, uh, the 450 pr uh, priests, prophets of, of Baal showed up there and Elijah showed up there. And Elijah addressed the people of Israel and he said, listen, how long are you going to go back and forth? If God's the real God, you should worship God. If Baal's the real God, you should worship Baal. But, you know, you, you go back and forth and, 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 and it's no good. Today is the day for choosing. So here's what we should do. There's just me, I'm the last of the Lord's prophets, and there's 450 of these prophets of Baal. Let's each build an altar. Let's each take a bowl and put the bowl on the altar. We'll each call down fire from heaven, and whichever God answers, that's the real God, that's the God that you should serve. And all the people said, that sounds great. That sounds cool. Let's do exactly that. So Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, why don't you boys go first? There's 450 of you. See if your God will answer you. So they built an altar and they took a bull and they killed the bull and they put it on the altar, put wood on the altar, put the bull on the wood. And then they started calling out to their God, oh, Baal, please send fire. Did Baal send fire? No. Is there actually something called Baal? No. It's nonsense. But they danced and they sang and they shouted and they limped around and they did this for hours and Elijah started making fun of them. You know, you should talk louder. Maybe your God has gone on a vacation. Maybe he's napping, right? Maybe he's just not paying attention to you. And so they cut themselves with swords and knives so that their God would feel sorry for them. And they limped around and they bled and Elijah just mocked them and mocked them and the people laughed at them. And of course, no fire from heaven fell. And they did that all morning and into the afternoon. And finally, Elijah got sick of it, and he said to the people, come, 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 here, come here to me. And so the people gathered around Elijah, and he said, now, let me show you something. And he went and he got 12 
big stones to represent the 12 tribes of Israel and he piled them together into an altar. And he took the wood and he put it on top of that altar and then he had the people help him dig a big ditch around the altar. A big, big moat around it. And then they took the bull and they killed it and they put it on the altar and then he had them go get water. Four huge jars of water. And they brought it back and he said, now dump it on the bull and on the wood and on the altar and they did he said do it again they did it again do it again they did it again four times three four jars three times twelve so we got twelve stones for the twelve tribes of Israel we got twelve full jars of water there was so much water that the wood was sopping wet the sacrifice was sopping wet the whole moat around the water around the altar was filled with water it was just covered with water and 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 so Elijah had the people stand back a little bit and he prayed he prayed a very simple prayer right he said God God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob right I I, I know that you're the only true God and, and that I'm your prophet. Uh, please let everyone know that, that I'm just doing what you told me to do, that all of this was your idea and I'm, I'm your servant and I'm, I'm just doing these things and, and I'm asking you to answer me so all the people here will know that you're God. And while he was still speaking, a huge ball of fire fell from heaven and it lapped up everything, the wood and the sacrifice and all of the water, just gone. And the people fell on their faces. They had never seen anything like that before. The power of God poured out like that. And they worshiped God. And Elijah said, now you arrest these prophets of Baal. Don't let any of them get away. And the people arrested them so they couldn't get away, so they couldn't do any more harm and teach any more lies to the people of Israel. That's where we'll end this story, with God proving to the people that he was their God and they were his people. It's a cool story, isn't it? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.